Carter Bradley's not getting pulled up, and apparently the Raiders have no faith in Carter Bradley, which is why they went and got Desmond Ritter and made him QB2. Because even though Carter Bradley has been with the team all offseason and he's been on that practice squad, he knows the, the playbook way better than Desmond Ritter's going to know it. The problem is the, the coaching staff simply doesn't have any faith in him. So he's going to stay on the practice squad, and that's why you go to somebody else's practice squad and you pull them off that practice squad. You have to put them on your active squad. So he's now effectively QB2. Um, moving forward, we'll see how long that lasts. Will he get pumped down back down to our practice squad? Will he get cut and released? I don't think so. Desmond Ritter, in my opinion, coming out of college, had a lot of hype of, around him. And we're basing his rookie year way too harshly. If you're going to look at the fact that he had 12 interceptions, okay, fine. He had 12 interceptions. He only had 12 touchdowns. That's kind of just part and parcel of being a rookie in the NFL, especially when you're thrown to the Wolves right out of the gate. So I'm going to be I'm going to be looking to see what the Raiders are doing with him. And here's I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but here's what I'm thinking right now. And let me know guys down in the comments below how you feel about this. If the Raiders were intent on bringing Aiden O'Connell back the second that he is ready to go with that thumb, why would you go pull Desmond Ritter and not just bring up Carter Bradley off your own practice squad as QB2? Is it that the Raiders want to see what Ritter has? Are the Raiders hoping that Ritter is really a diamond in the rough? Because coming out of college, Desmond Ritter... Had a lot of hype. He was a good quarterback. The only thing about Desmond Ritter, again, is that sometimes he likes to throw the ball into very questionable places. And it's got him into trouble. But he he's fairly accurate with an average 65% completion rating. Not in the 70s, so he's not a super uh, accurate guy. But he can get the job done at 65% completion rating. Listen, Russell Wilson only had 55% com, uh, percent completion rating, and the Pittsburgh Steelers were able to put up 37 points on that Jets defense uh, just last night. Right? So you don't have to be super, super accurate. What you have to be is smart with the ball. And in the NFL, rookie career, yeah, you're going to throw a lot of interceptions. Peyton Manning set a record for throwing the most interceptions as a rookie at 27 in a single year. Does he come back in three weeks from now? Will Desmond Ritter be QB1? Will we have three different starting quarterbacks in the same season? Kevin says uh, the Chiefs about to experience the first loss this Sunday against the Raiders. Chiefs are low-key scared of the Raiders, thanks to Max Crosby. This is true. And listen, the Raider, the it's any given Sunday in the NFL. On Christmas Day, we were like the 10-point underdogs, which is massive in the NFL. And we went in there and beat them. It's going to be Gardner Minshew, so my hopes aren't super high. But any given Sunday, you never, ever, ever know. One thing that you do know is this. That if you love the Raiders, then I hope you love the Raider D podcast and I hope you're subscribed. I'll bet you half of you have not subscribed yet. Hit that subscribe button and consider becoming a member. Hit that join button and come and join us on the Saturday members only live streams, which is so much fun because I actually can bring you guys straight up onto the panel with me. I always have a challenge to you guys. And that is, can we get 500 likes on the live stream? We're at 21 likes right now. Can we get 21? Oh, we're at 21. Can we get 500 likes on the live stream? We've got 130 plus people in here. Uh, I think it's doable. Let's see if we can hit 100 first and then see where we go from there. 
And I'm going to make a challenge to you guys because you guys know I love to give away stuff. I love to give away stuff. So there's a there's a prize that I could give away to one of you random commenters. And you have, obviously you're subscribers if you're commenting because I always turn on the subscribers only for the comments to keep the Chiefs fans out of here. Uh, if we hit 500 likes on the live stream and you guys are spamming that comment section with draft 2025, I will scroll through once we hit 500 likes and I will pick, but only if we hit 500 likes on the live stream. So let's spam draft 2025. I will scroll through and pick a random commenter who comments draft 2025. And why do I say draft 2025? Well, because the Raiders season is uh, a bit in the dumps right now. And what do we have to look forward to? Well, the 2025 NFL draft. That's what we're going to have to look forward to. But it's going to be a very contentious draft because there's going to be, you know, five or six teams this year, all with a very bad record. And a lot of them are going to be wanting uh, a quarterback. So if the Raiders, and, it, and this is why I think we went out and got Desmond Ritter. I mean, right now we're, we're, we're swinging for the, for the moon right now. We just, we don't know what we have. We know that we, we know what we don't have right now. We don't have a quarterback in Gardner Minshew. That's fact. So the Raiders absolutely are out there just swinging at the moon, hoping that something's going to land. And so you go and you pick up a Desmond Ritter. Doesn't cost you anything. We're able to pick him up off the practice squad, so he's getting bare minimum. Um, I mean, for a quarterback in the NFL, that's still over a million dollars. But still, uh, a lot cheaper than, than what we're paying Gardner Minshew. I, for one am a lot more excited about the prospect of a Desmond Ritter Aiden O'Connell competition than I am Gardner Minshew Aiden O'Connell competition. But I think that you go and you get a Desmond Ritter, listen, what do you do at that point? Let's say in three weeks from now, after our bye week, Desmond Ritter comes out as the starting quarterback. What if he has a good game and the very next week AOC is off IR? What do the Raiders do? Do you do you stay with Ritter and, and Minshew as QB2? Do you move Gardner Minshew down to the practice squad? The guy's making 15 million guaranteed this year. Or do you you or do you risk moving Aiden O'Connell to the practice squad? Remember, you move him down to the practice squad, a team can come snatch them up. You think the Carolina Panthers wouldn't take a look at that? Aiden O'Connell. Has some potential. So that's that's the conundrum that this move has now put the Raiders in. In four to six weeks, Aiden O'Connell will come off IR. And you're going to have Desmond Ritter and Gardner Minshew as the active two quarterbacks on this squad. Now decisions got to be made. I think if Desmond Ritter comes out and plays really good, let's say he gets a dub, KC net this this Sunday, and then we have the Cincinnati Bengals the following Sunday, and then we have a bye week. Then we play the Miami Dolphins, who are not playing well, and then the Denver Broncos. If you want to see what Desmond Ritter has in his pocketbook, what he can do, you would want to start him against the Miami Dolphins and the Denver Broncos. Those are two good matchups for young Desmond Ritter to come and show out before you have to make a decision on who you're going to keep. 